reporting from Changchun. Welcome to this CGTN live stream. And uh, we're coming to you from Northeast China's Jilin province. And this is uh, the place where we call the PLA Air Force's Open Day event. I'm Zhao Yunfei of CGTN. And I'm uh, Gou Tianqi. And today is actually the last day of the event, of the five day event. And today we're going to start off with Yunfei trying to by a plane. Really? Right? That, this it could be one of the most um, you know nervous live stream I've ever had be, be, before because I learned how to drive when I was uh -huh. young. I learned how to how to swim, but I uh -huh. failed. Um, I learned so many things, but flying a plane is is this is the first ever time. But usually pilots pilots they go to the classrooms and they they, they study something, uh -huh. and then before they really go to a, 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 a machine and try to fly. But we have, I have nothing. But Tenchi, you have, you have the experience yeah, before. Yeah, actually I had the experience. Well, I was nervous too, but I was also really excited. Because, you, you know, I feel like it's every boy's dream to fly a plane. Yeah. So, uh, like two days ago, I had the chance, the honor uh, to... Okay, so, so we can now start. Uh, Oh, wow. Well, now I see it's the completely three-dimensional um, view. I can tell he's a little nervous. Right now, like, we can't see. But actually, Yubei with his VR glasses on, he's, he's going to see a lot more than we do. Uh, he's going to see all the indicators on the plane. There's going to be tons of buttons. I was freaked out first. Uh, but so yeah, that's that's crazy right now. So with the VR glasses, he's gonna feel like he's exactly in a real plane. It's it's quite overwhelming at first. But then I was taught that like it's okay. You don't have to you know mind all the indicators and stuff. You just really need to focus on two things. It's really moving. Okay, what are what are the two things? So basically, just the handle on your left. And the handle on your right. Okay. Oh, it's oh, yeah. moving. Actually. Can you see the the is It's just stable. Then, 明白了 uh, yeah,
步。现在是倒飞，在机架，机、哦、架啊。好，前方蓝色的是你的，代表你的敌机。蓝色哦，这完全看不到蓝色。蓝色的那些小数据块，看到没？数据块，这个是这个吗、啊？对，那些数字。四百四点二还是？对对对，那是标识在你下面敌机的位置，然后你可以选择武器去攻击它。哎，怎么选择武器？啊，上面是导弹。对，这个这个这个按钮是导弹。啊，你看他从你上方过去，抬头抬头看，抬头看。啊，他到这边了。对。那么我你的飞机去追他，哎，压杆的过程要柔和一点。哎，你看他的飞机全在那儿。但是但是有好几个是吧？对。上面上面这个这个大拇指。这个是吧？嗯，对。你可以点一下试一试。So you play right now, try to locate the enemy jets. 对。哦哦，这这是什么？这是。Apparently, can you find one of them? You find any, any uh, I'm still confusing. <laughs> so, so that's a missile. So that is that missile of uh, is that my missile or the uh, yeah, enemy's yeah, missile? Yeah, that's your yeah. missile. Oh, that's my missile. Okay. Yeah, that's your missile. <laughs> okay, and, and and that's the enemy's jet. Uh, and and don't really fire. They just they're just uh, like targets. Oh, uh, they're just oh, uh, I I. 就是跟着这个蓝的，是不是？是不是还可以发射航炮？我记得。对，可以，可以。Yes. So we can, we can we can actually switch weapons. He was using missiles, and now I think he's using uh, oh, it's auto, a shoot. auto cannons. Uh, hey, I'm I'm like. Yeah. 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 The MiG-15 is one of the fighter jets operated by the Chinese People's Volunteer Army during the war to resist U.S. aggression and aid Korea. Chinese soldier Wang Hai flew the MiG-15 and shot down or damaged a record nine enemy aircraft. The brigade that Wang Hai led is now named after him. Colonel Zhang Hong, who now serves in the Wang Hai Brigade, says the fighting conditions back then were difficult. We 当时在学习钻研这一块，我们也是有很多这个呃宝贵的传承和做法。During the fierce battles to push back U.S.-led international forces, Wang Hai's team was commended for downing 29 aircraft flown by Allied forces. Colonel Zhang says soldiers today are still encouraged by stories of the wartime heroes. Wang Hai 大队它代表的是一种精神，代表的是整个飞行员群体。对于我们部队来讲，只要他在。History must not be forgotten. The PLA Air Force is hosting an open day event to mark the 70th anniversary of the ceasefire agreement. On show at the Air Force Open Day are China's most advanced military aircraft. Experts tell me that the PLA is still showing the wisdom and courage from 70 years ago. We also want to find the courage in the fight against the enemy. That is, in the fight. 呃，在抗美援朝作战中，我们相对于敌人的这个差距是非常大的。现在我们的装备得到了大幅的改进，我们的训练水平得到了大幅的提升，所以我们一定要相信，我们一定能够从胜利走向新的胜利。A story of fearlessly fighting for peace will be remembered. Hello guys, I'm at the 2023 PLA Air Force uh, Aviation Open Day event and I'm very honored to introduce next to me 
Colonel Li Yong. Li 老师，您简单介绍一下自己。好，您好，呃，我是空军飞行员李勇，啊、呃，特级飞行员，呃，从事飞行事业呢有二十五年了。啊 ，So so he's been flying up there for twenty five years, and today he's going to teach me how to fly a plane. It's every boy's dream to fly a plane. As I climbed in the cockpit, it started to feel real. So I'm going to have a VR glass, and I'm going to feel like I'm in an actual plane. The tilts and turns. This is the The bar on my left is the accelerator. The one on my right, the controller, which you use to control the direction of the plane and to open fire. Fly a plane. Fly a plane. But it's completely different. With the car, it's two-dimensional, and you have this sturdy ground beneath you. But with the plane, there's nothing there supporting you, and it's three-dimensional, which means a lot more to consider. If it hadn't been Colonel Lee's guidance and the help of the young soldier in blue, I'd probably have crashed and killed myself like ten times already. And that's when they decided to show me how an ace does it. Wow. I asked Colonel Lee what it takes to become a good pilot. He said, first, you have to love it, have passion in flying. And that's exactly what I saw in him. <laughs> the MiG-15 is one of the fighter jets operated by the Chinese People's Volunteer Army during the war to resist U.S. aggression and aid Korea. Chinese soldier Wang Hai flew the MiG-15 and shot down or damaged a record nine enemy aircraft. The brigade that Wang Hai led is now named after him. Colonel Zhang Hong, who now serves in the Wang Hai Brigade, says the fighting conditions back then were difficult. We ourselves during the fierce battles to push back U.S.-led international forces, Wang Hai's team was commended for downing 29 aircraft flown by Allied forces. Colonel Zhang says soldiers today are still encouraged by stories of the wartime heroes. Wang Hai Battalion, it represents a spirit. It represents the whole aviation force. For our battalion, as long as he is there, the whole aviation force is there. The spirit is there. The spirit is there. History must not be forgotten. The PLA Air Force is hosting an open day event to mark the 70th anniversary of the ceasefire agreement. On show at the Air Force Open Day are China's most advanced military aircraft. Experts tell me that the PLA is still showing the wisdom and courage from 70 years ago. We also want to find the courage in the war war. In the war war, the difference between the enemy's and the enemy's is very big. Now, our armor has increased a lot. Our training level has increased a lot. So, we have to believe that we will be able to move to a new victory. A story of fearlessly fighting for peace will be remembered. Thank you. A story of fearlessly fighting for peace will be remembered. Okay, now we are outside of the venue. I really want to look at this. This is a Y20 and two J16 and two J20. This is a this is a fantastic scene that you maybe only have a chance to see once every day in the past five um, five days, and it has been a really amazing um, uh, um, air show given the fact that uh, we are already outside of the venue. Uh, I have to say that uh, there, there was a five-minute, basically five-minute break in the middle because of the interruption of the signal. 
but our audience will probably think that I didn't do a good job. Yeah, you probably think you, you probably like <laughs> you cra crashed, crashed, crashed or something. Plane, so we cut the signal. But no, um, he was actually doing a really good job. I was there. He, he, I think you're really talented. You did better than I do. Really? Yeah, at least you kept yourself in the sky. You were steady. Um, oh, did you crash last time? Well, I didn't crash because there was like, uh, like Le Leo's uh, senior colonel. He was helping me. So like every time, like last minute, he's gonna save me. But I was really struggling to just keep myself in the sky, like going steady. But I think you were doing, you were doing pretty good. You were just kind of slow, but. <laughs> but but, yeah, but <laughs> I, I was, I mean, to be steady first, and before you're shooting your enemies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's but true. our like, audience just see your vlog, so they'll be able to tell how how, how well you behaved over there. Uh, so uh, now uh, we're just giving a little bit background about what we're happening now. So uh -huh. the PLA Air Force is trying to making itself more transparent and giving more space for the general public so that they will be able to understand what PLA is doing and uh, to checking out most the cutting edge events equipment so that's why we have this open day event so just now you see how we play the uh, model that how to fly an air jet and you just also see the demonstration an air live air demonstration uh, of this place now we're uh, walking uh, uh, on the um, uh, campus I would say that this this is a uh, this is a a, a a Air Force campus. This is a a, a airport uh, that uh, many uh, air jets, uh, fighter jets, take off uh, from over here. So you'll be able to see that uh, there are multiple uh, aircraft that's being displayed at this place. And yeah, I uh, think these are the models that are like, currently not in service, like they were older models. No, they're not in service, yeah. uh, but this is a larger zone. Uh, if we go a little further, because a live stream, um, you know, it takes really like 20 minutes to walking from one side all the way to, other, yeah, to another. At the other edge uh, of this campus, you'll be able to see the most advanced uh, current um, uh, air jets. Um, but at this area, they're just uh, old models. Like, like you I tried a, like pretty much everything uh, during the, the, this event. So I had the chance, you know, to walk all the way to the other side and then back to this side. Every time it takes about like, like, like twenty thousand steps, like thirty minutes probably. Thirty minutes. Yeah, and there's actually oh, the CT. That's four J twenties, I think. The four J twenty is at the same time flying over our head. Uh, as you can tell, uh, you probably didn't see it, but uh, uh, when the J-20 flying over our head, you can certainly hear the roar. And uh, we talked to some of the soldiers and, um, a few days ago, and they told us that uh, maybe um, J-20, the, um, uh, the most advanced, uh, one of the most advanced air jets um, uh, that is being displayed at this air show. Yeah, and, uh, they I think really that's definitely it. the star. Yeah, not just the, the new like soldiers, I also interviewed some, like the audience, mm -hmm. um, like probably almost every one of them, if you ask them, what do you expect to see the most? What are, yeah. like, what are you excited to, the most to see? And, they're, and their answer is going to be the J-20. J-20, yeah, yeah. basically. Uh, not only J-20, but also Y-20 at this demonstration because it's a, uh, it's, it's a carrier uh, that is also very advanced. Uh, I can still remember how uh, Y-20 is being used in multiple uh, situations uh, even in 2020 uh, at the peak of the pandemic in the city of Wuhan uh, the, the aircraft carry soldiers uh, military doctors uh -huh. to the epicenter so many many uh, great missions uh, they have carried on and this year they also have not only just white Y20 they have YY20 a Y20 that can feel uh, Oil, uh, fill, uh, fuel to uh, the planes um, in the air, give fuels to the plane in the air. So it's also an improvement uh, over there. Uh, yeah. And like, when you say that, uh, it re reminds me, when you were driving the plane back then, I don't mm -hmm. know if you still remember, mm -hmm. like on the right hand side, yeah. you can kind of see a, a tube thing uh, sticking uh, out uh, of your yes, plane. Yes, yes. I was taught that is to refuel in air because mm -hmm. you know it really you have to be really steady and the two be like completely the same in speed and it's really hard so it's, I, like, I was told that was the one of the third 
hardest subjects in there. The other two are um, one is landing and taking off from aircrafts. Oh, landing and taking off is difficult for sure. Yeah, because aircraft, you know, is limited in space, and you have to be really precise where you land and where yeah. you take off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and one is uh, refueling air, and oh my god, I think I forgot what's, the what's third another? one. <laughs> <laughs> but also keeping keep, keeping you know the distance uh, yeah, in the yeah. air, and then especially for those aircraft. Uh, oh, look at that! Also another Ford J20 flying the air over our head. Uh, Amazing. We're we're kind of a little bit far away from them, but if we join our audience in front of us, um, they will have a closer um, view over the J20, and then I, I think I think th those areas they will have more crowd over there. Yeah, definitely. Oh, we can see there's there's tons of people over there. Uh, this event, uh, I think I estimated over seven hundred thousand people, right? Join this yeah, place in five like, days. Yeah, in five days. So this place each day had they have a capacity of uh, fourteen thousand. Is yeah. it fourteen thousand people? Yeah, fourteen thousand people. I mean, that's oh. crazy. And like the audience, they're already prepared. A lot. The MiG-15 is one of the fighter jets operated by the Chinese People's Volunteer Army during the war to resist U.S. aggression and aid Korea. Chinese soldier Wang Hai flew the MiG-15 and shot down or damaged a record nine enemy aircraft. The brigade that Wang Hai led is now named after him. Colonel Zhang Hong, who now serves in the Wang Hai Brigade, says the fighting conditions back then were difficult. Uh, 当时在学习钻研这一块，我们也是有很多这个呃宝贵的传承和做法。During the fierce battles to push back U.S.-led international forces, Wang Hai's team was commended for downing 29 aircraft flown by Allied forces. Colonel Zhang says soldiers today are still encouraged by stories of the wartime heroes. Wang Hai大队它代表的是一种精神，代表的是整个飞行员群体。对于我们部队来讲，只要他在。History must not be forgotten. The PLA Air Force is hosting an open day event to mark the 70th anniversary of the ceasefire agreement. On show at the Air Force Open Day are China's most advanced military aircraft. Experts tell me that the PLA is still showing the wisdom and courage from 70 years ago. We also to to the 呃，在抗美援朝作战中，我们相对于敌人的这个差距是非常大的。现在我们的装备得到了大幅的改进，我们的训练水平得到了大幅的提升，所以我们一定要相信，我们一定能够从胜利走向新的胜利。A story of fearlessly fighting for peace will be remembered. The MiG-15 is one of the fighter jets operated by the Chinese People's Volunteer Army during the war to resist U.S. aggression and aid Korea. Chinese soldier Wang Hai flew the MiG-15 and shot down or damaged a record nine enemy aircraft. The brigade that Wang Hai led is now named after him. Colonel Zhang Hong, who now serves in the Wang Hai Brigade, says the fighting conditions back then were difficult. Uh, 当时在学习钻研这一块，我们也是有很多这个呃宝贵的传承和做法。During the fierce battles to push back U.S.-led international forces, Wang Hai's team was commended for downing 29 aircraft flown by Allied forces. Colonel Zhang says soldiers today are still encouraged by stories of the wartime heroes. Wang Hai大队它代表的是一种精神，代表的是整个飞行员群体。对于我们部队来讲，只要他在。History must not be forgotten. The PLA Air Force is hosting an open day event to mark the 70th anniversary of the ceasefire agreement. On show at the Air Force Open Day are China's most advanced military aircraft. 
Experts tell me that the PLA is still showing the wisdom and courage from 70 years ago. We also need to find the courage in the Korean War. In the Korean War, we have the same difference between the opponent's and the opponent's. Now, our armor has increased the amount of training. Our training has increased the amount of training. So we must believe that we can go to the victory and the victory of the victory. The victory of the victory of the victory of the victory. A story of fearlessly fighting for peace will be remembered. The MiG-15 is one of the fighter jets operated by the Chinese People's Volunteer Army during the war to resist U.S. aggression and aid Korea. Chinese soldier Wang Hai flew the MiG-15 and shot down or damaged a record nine enemy aircraft. The brigade that Wang Hai led is now named after him. Colonel Zhang Hong, who now serves in the Wang Hai Brigade, says the fighting conditions back then were difficult. We basically During the fierce battles to push back U.S.-led international forces, Wang Hai's team was commended for downing 29 aircraft flown by Allied forces. Colonel Zhang says soldiers today are still encouraged by stories of the wartime heroes. Wang Hai's team represents a spirit. It represents the entire fighter unit. For the soldiers, as long as he is there, the whole unit is there. The spirit is there. The spirit is there. The spirit is there. The spirit is there. The the PLA Air Force is hosting an open day event to mark the 70th anniversary of the ceasefire agreement. On show at the Air Force open day are China's most advanced military aircraft. Experts tell me that the PLA is still showing the wisdom and courage from 70 years ago. We also need to find the courage in the Korean War. In the Korean War, we have the difference between the opponent's and the opponent's and the opponent's. Now, our armor has increased the amount of training. Our training has increased the amount of training. So we must believe that we can go to the victory and the victory of the victory. A story of fearlessly fighting for peace will be remembered. A story of fearlessly fighting for peace will be remembered.